We have to get people to a place where they're comfortable adopting innovations, um, technological innovations, and are not uh, in fear of their general counsel, um, as is sometimes the case. And it's widely disparate. I mean, you see folks, for example, in EPA that has a phenomenal innovation office. Um, in DOD, where, you know, this is, I mean, they're, they're pumping out innovations there and tech-based innovations one after the other that's really sort of a model of what can be done. Um, and this is in contrast to other agencies where I hear from folks who say, I can't put up a blog, I can't use a wiki, I don't know how to do this. And it's really a combination. I think it's no one thing. It's a combination of policy. It's a combination of technology and access to it. Um, it's a combination of culture and culture shift. Um, and also I would say it's now, it, it has to do with also having the easy pathway and, and, and possibility of adopting um, both free tools and working with uh, the community on the creation of new tools and piloting new innovations and engaging people in civic participation um, in the way that you've talked about by tapping people who have technical ability and expertise that they want to contribute as well as other forms of um, expertise, et cetera. So I think we have to be working on all of these fronts at once.